flippin' herper! Everybody, I was gonna do some B-roll and some drone footage, uh, but my stomach started hurting towards the end of doing this video, and it turned out to be appendicitis, so I got my appendix removed. I'm recovering, but I wanted to go ahead and get some uh, video up, uh, so here it goes. Thanks. Snake. What one? Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. We got a little northern right here. I've seen a lot of these guys, so I'll probably just let them go. But let him go back under his rock. Under your rock, buddy. Get in there. Worms. Everywhere worms. We just flipped a baby queen. We've been finding them a lot lately. Queen snakes are super pretty. Usually pretty docile. She's just hanging out. Part of the crew now. All right, now that we got some pictures of this guy, we're gonna go ahead and release them. Go back under your little rock, buddy. Free at last, free at last. So we weren't having too much luck. So we made a bet, first one to flip a rock with a snake underneath wins. And Jeff, flipped one immediately. Flipped this queen, which might be the largest queen that uh, we have caught so far. So that's a great find. And so I lost the bet and Katie lost the bet pretty quickly. All right, since he won't stop squirming, we're just gonna go ahead and let him go. Go wherever you wanna go, buddy. Down to hog nose. Jeff! This is what we have been looking for the entire time. This right here is a hog nose, and Birdie found it. So these guys, you, can you hear it hiss? Can't pull that out again. Right now, he got so worked up he's playing dead, which I didn't want to work him up that much. So they're going to act like they're hurt, he'll do this for a little bit, and then he'll sit still and he'll just leave his mouth open like he's dead. Once he finishes his show. So right now, he's playing dead. They'll even cough up blood to make it look like they're dead. They'll go limp like this. When you try to move them, they just want to flip upside down like, I'm dead. And if you try to flip them back over, he'll just flip himself right back over to pretend dead again. So this was Birdie's find too. 
She's been doing a great job helping out her dad. Uh, we're going to set up this GoPro and we're going to walk away and then hopefully get it coming back to life. Birdie's a big fan of the, the snake musk, and the snake musk, she likes to roll around in it, don't you? And we have to give her a bath right when we get home. All right, what we have here is a racer. That is Ooh. not a fan of me. bothered this guy enough. Let's see if we can watch him zoom away. Oh, that's not that fast. I'm hoping there are going to be more flippable ones. Katie just found us a little hog nose. Not little, but smaller than the other one we found. This guy. This guy's not nearly as shy. He's not even puffing out his face. Any of that behavior. Being really friendly, which is really cool. He was being really calm. We got a couple photos. He's starting to flatten his neck, kind of like a cobra. So, so we don't further agitate him. We're gonna go ahead and let him go. But great find, Katie. Nothing. Oh, hog nose. Holy this, moly. this is our third hog nose. This one's not as orange as the other ones. Uh, it's more black. A little frightened. I'm gonna stay off of him a little bit while he's scared. If he comes down, I'll try to pick him up. Pick him and picking it back up. Yeah, he does that all the time. That's her thing. He's not moving out of the way, so we're gonna go ahead and move him so we can put his home back. No biting. No biting. Try to put him back. He looks like a slug. <laughs> All right. 
All right, that's all I have for this week. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.